What I would say distinguishes Lauren Oslin from many other fine students academically, many other student leaders that I have known, is her willingness to do something uh, that she doesn't know anybody who's ever done. There is no path to follow, there's no formula, there's no script for how to do it and be successful or even to consult somebody to get ready to do it. I think that's really what distinguishes Lauren and I think it will take her very far in life. Um, the other thing I would say that distinguishes Lauren is she has several times taken on these kinds of um, paths that really there isn't a path for and she has grown tremendously from it. So her willingness for humility, really, to do something where the chances are pretty good that you're going to fall down flat on your face, and that's okay because that is part of the journey. So Lauren Oseland, to me, is a very uh, unique, unusual person because of her willingness to take huge chances, and that's part of the calculated risk so that I will grow personally, professionally, and, and in other ways. OSU has prepared me for my future in the sense that I know I can go anywhere in the world and be an effective professional because the education I have received is very practical and hands-on. The theory that we learn inside the classroom is such that I can take it to some extent across the world and still be effective in my job and so I am very appreciative for that and I feel very well equipped to go out and impact the world with the education I've received from Oklahoma State. Graduating from Oklahoma State University is incredibly significant for me because I'm a first generation cowboy. So it is something, it's almost something that I can't really describe the feeling when I get um, thinking about being a member of the OSU family. And it's something that is just very special and it's a feeling that I want to recreate in my family someday and carry on the tradition of being a cowboy because I feel like while we have a high quality education, we also have a very strong community and it's a very um, welcoming place and it's just something that it, it has become part of my personal identity and it, it means more than I could ever say to graduate from OSU. This is a photo of Dean Wilson and his wife Kathleen Wilson and this picture is very special to me because all of the faculty and staff in the College of Human Sciences have played a very meaningful role in my development as a student and so it's sort of representative of all of the advisors and faculty and staff that have really molded me into the person that I am today. In this photo you see members of Human Sciences Student Council preparing for our alumni tailgate this past year and Student Council has been a very important part of my OSU experience and something I've been involved in almost all four years. Here I am with my pledge class during our um, annual Greek recruitment in the summertime and this picture is of our Greece skit and it's very special to our house and our pledge class is very close and some of my best friends have come from my sorority and um, so this is just a fun end of the year picture for us. In this photo you see me and a group of students called Form Form Leavers um, in New Mbani Village, Kitui, Kenya and it, this photo was taken during my internship this past summer where I did social work and counseling with HIV AIDS orphans in Kenya. This is a picture of my parents and I at my senior homecoming this year and it's that was a fun experience for them because they got to come see me on royalty and really get to experience OSU homecoming at its finest and my parents have been very supportive of all I've done here at OSU and so they're a big part of my success. <laughs>